Dr. Babylon Tevula is looking like a rapper. That's that's the first thing. Like <laughs> I think I should I should start dressing like him. <laughs> and then he dresses the way we supposed to for the show. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing a basketball vest. <laughs> <laughs> like an NBA one. <laughs> Like I never thought that day would actually come. Uh, exactly, yeah. <laughs> it, it's 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 like the day when you had the hockey T-shirt on, yeah. the, the the basketball one. Sorry, and yeah, it was it was that was the it was the hockey one. I'm mm. right. And I was like, okay, Mr. Stan, yeah, mm. your one. Okay, looks like it's the old Raiders. Mm. Um, what DMX would wear. Mm. I'm, I'm oh, cool. I see that. So, so, but so with Dr. Matewula, it seems. Yeah. What what's a what's a low frequent word for weird? <laughs> the low frequent word no i don't know all right mm. that word mm. but i must say mm. he's rocking it nice <laughs> <laughs> do you think do you think dr mabila eyes are sharp a sharp yeah like okay yeah because it i mean looking at his age and he's not wearing spectacles because at this, Wait, age he's supposed to, at this age he's supposed to be wearing like goggles eh? no but think about dr <laughs> matabula has actually been elevating each week mm. last week it was the cap mm. oh yes the week before <laughs> that he wasn't wearing a polo neck he was wearing shirts mm. he's been he's been you see he's even showing us the vest now you see yeah. <laughs> and the cap, and the ah, cap. okay okay <laughs> never mind the cap. never the cap. mind no. Now, uh, Dr. Mabilama Table, today is not your birthday. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> what does that have to do? With it? <laughs> I, I was thinking, okay, <laughs> what happened? Why Why did we name that? It's not his birthday. So, no, no, I'm just saying that that cap was not a present. And, and the, sh- the shirt is also not a present. Oh, no, 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 definitely yeah. not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But um, now, you know what I like more about Dr. Mabirama Tebula, right? Because he takes everything serious, right? That yes. he does, right? Now, you, you can also... Do you, did you see the investment that he also made, right? So he built a studio. Can you see he's sitting on a studio? Just so that, <laughs> just so that for this show, everything goes well, you know? So that we don't have a problem with sound. You remember? We remember he was um, somewhere the other day and then the sound was not good. But just... Just by like you can tell it's like in a very nice and proper <laughs> proper studio. The and second one, because remember back yeah. at his house he had one. Yeah, and uh, it's now a mobile, has it's a mobile studio. This one is mobile. I was about to say that. Yeah, and uh, and he also invested on very good uh, you know high tech microphone and earphones. <laughs> the headset. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't Do- wear headsets. Yeah. Doctor Abilowa, tell good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon, Mr. Stan and Vision. How are you doing? Eh? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. Dr. Mabirama we we've got a young men here. In fact, two of them, uh, you know, and a young girl. Kids uh, help. Omuwe kids help. Just had to be help. Omuwe kids help and Tate Matebula. And then Prince, where's Prince? No, no shading. shading. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, and prodigy, prodigy, where is she? Low no shading. shading. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, and uh, we also have uh, another young man. His name is Zeni. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, how Zeni? No, how are I you? Oh, Zeni. Yeah. Zeni, how are you? Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's it. They're greeting you. Oh, and and Tepo. Uh, Tepo, how are you? I'm great. I'm great. You, you, see, oh, uh, you see, you see what I like about these guys is that they don't memorize each other's. You know, they don't, they never copied at school, right? <laughs> they went the same grade. So uh, you ask them, the other one is great, the other one is good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I think, I think Tepo plans everything. <laughs> 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 so, okay, Tepo. Do- Dr. Matheul, I don't feel safe around Tepo. <laughs> why? He got Chinese people to look for me. I don't know why. 
and, uh, and no, he no. doesn't want to admit when when we off air he says he didn't do it but on air he's like yeah sure <laughs> no no he was just making <laughs> no he was just making sure he's got a chinese for a bodyguard oh that's nice how do you touch a guy with the chinese yeah, for exactly. a bodyguard like this 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 taekwondo there there's karate there he's wearing a suit how many knives he yeah, the chinese guy has broken all his meridians eh? you see what i'm talking about yeah. he is uh i think it's 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 the level i think number five level the, 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 we, we learned about it there was a name uh kai it's it ended with the word zen we we learned about it. I remember we interviewed a person mm. who's literally oh, yeah. a sensei. No, it's a sensei. Okay, but, but no, let's not go there because that's very deep. Ne? What if the Chinese guy is at that level of kai what what zen? No, but they've got very good um, hearing. I mean, what if they can hear us? It's fine. Let's leave the Chinese alone. This is because why we still, I said, to, we still have to leave this building. Eh? And I told you, this is this. <laughs> why is he looking for me? Because he also have good eyesight. He saw me park my car. But they remember vision. They say you you lack a lot in melanin. You remember. So, so what if? No, he saw me already. Besides the lack of melanin. Melanin. The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Besides the lack of the yeah, dark pigment, <laughs> <laughs> the dark pigment. You know, you know what, Doctor Madibul? It's not that vision does not cannot pronounce melanin, right? But for some reason, for some reason, it slips out the wrong way all the time, <laughs> especially when he's on a sport, right? Um, he end up even say uh, watermelon sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but that that gives dark pigment with yeah. the M. Uh, okay yeah, yes. Yes, yes yes my car is also not dark it lags as well so mm. he definitely saw me park okay uh, dr have you ever had a bodyguard in your life no i don't have you ever needed one no you see dr mabilamati will like and kick ass <laughs> 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 yeah I, I doubt i'll need one as well oh, so okay. that oh means you are starting to like yeah. exercise now no, but they're like, um, what if my one becomes Japanese and one day the debit order came out late? <laughs> Since then, you know, a bodyguard is a symbol of external power. We'll mm. talk about it shortly. Mm. Mm. Oh, external power. Yes, external power. Now, Dr. Mabilema Tabula, good afternoon. You see, we, we, we roll like that, right? We, we have to have uh, a short talk before we even start with our topic. That's how diverse yeah. we are and spontaneous we are. Yeah, I think it's good. It's it's, it's good for us to to have such a talk uh, so so that we are desensitized before we dwell on on important things. Now, Dr. Mabelama Tebula, you see the today's topic is actually entitled The Cause of Depression to a Relationship. Now, what is depression to you, Dr. Matebula? Ah, well, it's a very good question, and I'm glad you brought it up. To me, you know, depression is like depreciation. Mm. <laughs> uh, simply put, mm. something within you is being depleted. Mm. And when the, and when there is emptiness within you, you feel depressed mm. because there's a gaping hole within mm. you. Mm. It means something has left you, and then that gap creates depression. Mm. Yeah. Now, which take us to something uh, Dr. Mabilamati would so now obviously a person can become empty inside right yeah now which means that there's a depre- depre- depreciation did you do yeah did you do did you do um a- accounting what? accounting yes yeah uh, <laughs> no but i know depreciation is mm. when the amount actually decreases and appreciation is an increase of the amount of the asset hashtag bugatti yo uh, i'm impressed that dr madi with this young man yeah yeah well mm. I, I i think vision understands that an asset you know depreciates Mm. Um, and I think his woman uh, does not depreciate, but mm. she appreciates. Ah, did you hear that? Women don't depreciate; they add value, mm. so they, they make <laughs> men appreciate. Okay. <laughs> to appreciate, yes. You're okay. Yeah. Mm. That was a smart one. I just the, the opposite that. of depreciation is appreciation. Yes. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 
Now, Dr. Mabilema Tebula, you talk about um, something very interesting, right? Now, why is it that we will say a child is born, uh, uh, I mean, is actually empowered with authentic power? Yeah, well, authentic power, well, we'll define it uh, as we go along. Mm. I think when a child is born, is mm. born, is empowered. Mm. And then as you go along, you lose that power. Mm. And then when you lose that power, mm. it's then that you experience all these maladies mm. that we we experience as people. Mm. You know, for, for example, uh, psychologists don't deal with children mm. because children are, are empowered. They don't have a low self-esteem. They don't have all these things. But what I'm saying to you is that when you are a child, you are empowered, you know, when you are born there, you are empowered with authentic power. You you don't care about a car. You don't care about money. You don't mm. care about prestige. You don't care about position. Mm. Now you are empowered. Mm. But once you become an adult, now mm. you start craving for external power. You start craving for power, mm. authority, you know, all these things. And then that's where you actually develop all these melodies that we we have to, you know, heal through psychology or spiritual psychology. Mm. Which leads us to the next question. What is external power, Dr. Matevula? Yeah, it's a very good question, Mr. Stan. Mm. External power is the power to control the environment mm. and those within it. Mm. It's the power over what we can, you know, it's a power that can be felt, mm. smelled, tasted, mm. heard, or seen, you know, like, you know, from the five sensory perspective. Mm. You know, external power can be acquired or mm. lost, mm. as in a stock exchange or in an election. Mm. It can be bought or stolen. Mm. And then money is a symbol of external power. Mm. In other words, anything we fear to lose, well, for example, a home, a car, a husband, a wife, or a position, a job, is a symbol of external power. Mm. Now, in other words, when energy leaves, Mm. It cannot bring back anything but discomfort or pain. Mm. You know? mm. 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 And, and, and then in other words, you lose power whenever you display the following emotions. Mm. Like anger, rage, hatred, jealousy, regret, you know, guilt, resentment, loneliness. You know? mm. In other words, what we call anxiety is the power living through the energy center that is located within your body mm. yeah and uh, what what is then an authentic power dr matevula yeah authentic power is, is an inverse of external power mm. is the power that loves in every form that it appears mm. you know, a power that does not judge what it encounters mm. a power that perceives meaningfulness and purpose in the smallest details upon the earth Mm. An authentic empowered person is incapable of making anyone or anything a victim. Simply put, an authentic mm. or, or a authentically empowered person cannot harm another person. That's mm. why in the, in the Vedic literature, they call it ihamsa. Ihamsa mm. simply means that, you know, you... You know, it's, it's, it's a type of a person who can harm anything. You know, you can't mm. harm the environment. You can't harm your fellow man, mm. you know. In, in other words, you are authenticated once you reach such a level. Mm. Now, let's talk about many, many people who actually suffer from depreciation. And, uh, depression, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly said depreciation. Now, um, people who actually suffer from depression, Dr. Mabilama Tebula, uh, what is it that they are actually afraid of? Yeah. As I said to you, that when you are young, mm. you are fully, you, you have got full authentic power. Mm as I've defined it. But mm. as you grow, you lose the authentic power mm. and you, you crave for external power. Mm. You know? Now, in other words, you know, people who suffer from depression, you know, they've got the fear of losing something. Mm. For example, most men are depressed because of being important. Mm. You know, you can't make love anymore because you have got, you know, sexual dysfunction. Mm. You know? Mm. And, and sexual prowess mm. is a symbol of external power. Mm. And when it when it is lost, people become depressed. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Say in other words, as I said, when you worry about something, mm. the energy leaves your body and you end up being depressed. Mm. Yeah? And then you must replenish that energy with something positive, such as love, giving, and caring. Mm. So, what can be the solution, uh, you know, uh, for you know, for, for, for all of these things, Dr. Matibur? Okay. Firstly, mm. I think you, 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 firstly, you need to be of a humble spirit. Mm. A humble spirit does not ask for more than it needs. It means a humble spirit is mm. content. That's why Paul says in the Bible, mm. I learned to be content. You need to be content, mm. you know, of, of, of who you are, of what you have. Mm. You know, contentment is very important. Mm. Uh, a mm. humble spirit is content with the fulfillment of its authentic needs. Mm. A humble, you know, humble spirits are free to love mm. and to be who they are. You are not a fake. You are not a counterfeit. You mm. are who you are. Mm. They have got no artificial standards to live to. Mm. They are not pompous. You know, they are simple, down to earth. Mm. And they are, they are not drawn to the symbol of external power. Mm. You know, and they, not, they don't even compete mm. for external power. Yes. For example, you and, and, and Vision there, you know, you don't actually compete. Mm. in terms of who is the best because what you're actually doing you're authenticated mm. you you know that you know you have got a higher purpose you are saving the community you are saving the nation mm. so there's no need for you to compete for external power you are there to serve now that's an authenticated person mm. you hear that? now if you want to catch um uh dr mabila matebula on on social is uh, uh mabila matebula on uh twitter and uh, do you know that um uh, Dr. Mabila Matebula is also on LinkedIn. Oh, LinkedIn is, is, is a good one. Mm. Hey, but when you go to LinkedIn, hey, you'll be scared to, 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 to send what? a message. Yeah? Uh, you know, you need to connect with him. Have you, have you already connected with him? I, I will later. Huh? I will later on. You will later on, right? Yes. Because oh, okay. not, not right no, now. Right I, now I, I, I like the way he puts it to say later. <laughs> you know, yeah. Actually, yeah, with that play. This, this this reminds me of a person who came from the United States. I think he was there for a month and he came back with a friend from the United States. Mm. And the, the mother met him, you know, from mm. the airport. Mm. Then now he introduces his friend to to the mother. Mm. And he says, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm mom, meet, meet my body. Yeah? My body, meet my mom. <laughs> and, the mom and, and, and the mom says, Okay, my body, my <laughs> So, so Dr. Mabila Matewula, uh, you know, is a published author, is a public speaker, you know, and an educator. And uh, he's got his experience, uh, more than 30 years of experience, you know, in various industry. Hmm. Wait. They, you see, but, the but, thing about it is stand, you can't stand, put him in one. being an educator, also I'm a student of life. I'm there to learn on daily basis. I'm a student more than any other thing. And I think maybe I, I educate because I I, I, I learn. Mm. I learn a lot. I read a lot. And then that's why I'm a student of life. And then I believe that each and every person I meet is somewhat my superior because I can learn of him, of him and, you know, from him. Underline the preposition vision. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Underline the preposition, right? So uh, besides, it's also an experienced uh, researcher as well, right? Now, uh, you know why I was mentioning all of those things? Because that was my quotable quote. Because we don't have a quote. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, I, I thought we were just talking about yeah. the, the only general no, things. No, no. It, it is because we did not have the quote today. He's going to come up with one. Mm. Mm. I, I trust Dr. Matewood. Because the topic for today is very extensive. And it talks about external power. Mm. Yeah, because I, I wanted people to grasp this concept because as we go along mm. and, and deal with addictions and mm. all those things, mm. you know, it will be very important for people to understand the difference between external power as well as authentic power. Mm. Mm. And I think you, you guys have been authenticated, you know, after mm. this program. No, we, we, we have been authenticated, Dr. Bilamatebula. And the one thing that uh, we appreciate from you is that uh, came, I mean, come rain, 
sunshine, um, you know, because it was also, um, a, a, you know, raining with cats and dogs, and we had uh, a lot of hoof hoof and meow meow outside. And That's, there's a derby as well. And there's a derby, hey, but that other team, <laughs> but that other team has scored already. Eh? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Dr. Mabilema Tebula, we do know that uh, there is something called uh, um, vegetable stock. We also have beef stock. Uh, we don't have grass stock. No? We, we Chicken? Have Chicken stock, right? <laughs> and uh, we now also understand what is a laughing stock. So the, yeah. laughing, the laughing stock co- scored first, right? Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> I, want, I don't even want to speak about which team it is. <laughs> Dr. Babilava Tewula, uh, thank you so very much. Uh, you know, uh, you you are coming so loud and clear from your mobile studio. Do you know that? Yeah, I, I think I've got more authentic power, more than external power. Maybe by then <laughs> I, I had external power, and but now I've got I, I've got more or you know authentic power. That's why you know everything is okay. The sound is okay. The sound is authentic, Dr. Babilava Tewula. <laughs> uh, thank you so very much uh, we will uh, talk uh, next week uh, but uh, during the course of the week me and you we're going to continue with the conversation yeah and, and then I think next week we'll actually focus on why why do people commit suicide you know after we have spoken about authentic power and mm. external power people really shall understand exactly mm. why people end up you know committing suicide we are going to talk about uh uh, that fact, Dr. Mabila Matebula. But thank you so very much for coming through. We really appreciate uh, your coming through every weekend. So that was Dr. Mabila Matebula, uh, right at VMC Planet Radio. I told you, uh, if you want to get him, uh, you know, through the socials, he is on uh, LinkedIn, is Dr. Mabila Matebula on LinkedIn, and he is Mabila Matebula on uh, Twitter as well, you know. And um, okay, he didn't say Twitter. But it's a Twitter. Yeah, I, 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 I can't turn Twitter. Wait, I just did. Yeah, I speak English to be heard, not to be admired. <laughs> uh, Twitter. <laughs> uh, that was uh, Dr. Babila Matebula, experienced uh, researcher. Uh, you know, he's a journalist, he's a published author, public speaker, and an educator. And to top it all, he is actually um, a student of life.